Uh, where's our next question? Okay, that one up here. Up here. Up here. Uh, so last year and the year before you were on the Oster Dam, which is having capacity about 2,000 passengers, this year and next year is the New Amsterdam, which is about 2,200. And I think this is about as big as the boats get from all the America line. Um, have you thought that uh, if the cruise uh, gets bigger, that you may have to... Please don't think this cruise is going to be bigger than it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, go ahead. <laughs> that, that, um, perhaps, like adding a second cruise doubles the capacity, basically. But, you know, you have some cachet with Hall of America. Does that cachet carry over to the other cruise lines in the Carnival family? If you have to go to a bigger boat and Hall of America doesn't have a bigger boat, or are you basically always going to be limited by what Hall of America has because Hall of America knows you in Carnival or Princess don't know you? So I'll speak to Hall of America first. They actually have two new ships and they're building a third. There's the new Staten Dam and the Koenig Dam, which are a little over 3,000 passenger ships. We actually did sail it to check it out to see if it would suit Joko Cruise. The setup, it's, they're wonderful ships, but the setup and the cruise industry on the whole, they're moving away from venues like these, so it doesn't have a main venue that even holds half the ship. So we'd have to radically change the event. So too, if we went back to Freedom Class on the Royal Caribbean, those ships are 3,400 all the way up to 6,000. Radical reinterpretation of the event, which is why we would think if we were to expand in numbers, we would do two sailings instead. And that's really true across the industry. Uh, absolutely, we can go to any cruise line. Um, and we were at Royal Caribbean for four years. Our experience with Holland America has been first class up and down, uh, both from the corporate side to the staff. It's been great. So where we are right now, we prefer uh, to be here with these folks. We know their processes and the rest. Um, we never say never. If someone could build a ship just for us, maybe, I don't know. All stage! Maybe we buy our own ship. Uh, we will never buy our own ship. They're kind of expensive. <laughs> and difficult to maintain. Um, so, yeah, everything's on the table, but I'm glad you asked that, because that's a little more insight into why, with expanding, our minds are more likely to do to sailings than to go up in ships. Yeah, and it's, and it's also, I mean, you, you know, you think about how this event has evolved over the 10 years that we've, we've been doing it. When we first started, we were 350 people on board uh, uh, well, one of these ships. Um, uh, and it just got bigger and bigger. And then, uh, you know, four years ago, we became a charter and took over the whole ship. And that was a, you know, as we got bigger and our, our events got bigger and our schedule got bigger and we sort of ran out of space to do that stuff, that's one of the things that pushed us toward becoming a full ship charter. And in the process of doing that, it really did change the event. You know, as we've discussed, the red team and the gold team were our attempts to, you know, our, our way of splitting up the audience, which we were forced to do in a way that didn't make it feel, make everybody feel FOMO all the time. Uh, and so, uh, something something like that would require significant re retooling of that stuff, and it's not that we won't do it, but it's it's uh, that's a lot of heavy lifting, and I and I think it's also you know it would be a thing that we would do one year and probably not get right the first time, and have to fine tune, and and right now we feel like we know how to do this kind of cruise, uh, and we're not super anxious to push to push to expand or or. Uh, Overcomplicate things because it's it's right now we feel like it's working it's working pretty well we we have just figured out you know, we've just sort of solved the puzzle <laughs> I don't, and never say never like I feel like there were a lot of things we didn't get right in 2017 when we went to full ship yeah so yeah never say never but we we feel pretty good about what we do 